What is good to the family? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one, I'm going to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down some very important levels on Tesla and the market, which you should be watching for as time progresses. And before I break anything down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to six free stocks. If you deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks plus six months of level two data. Putting in $25,000 or more guarantees you 70 free stocks plus 12 months of level two data. The offer ends in just about 12 hours from now, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market. In my video from the morning, I said that Tesla is most likely going to push, then drop very, very soon. And that's almost exactly what happened today. We got a nice little push to the upside, approaching the resistance we called out near this 260 zone. And I told you to expect Tesla to most likely reject around this area, looking at the current trend, and expect it to come all the way back down closer to 250. We ended up coming down to about 252, so very close to what we were expecting. But now the question is, what is Tesla going to do? What news is affecting it? How could all of this end up affecting the market? So I want to just talk about that first before I break down what's happening with the charts. So as a reminder, there is one thing that's starting to concern me about this rally, guys, and that is the fear and greed index is hitting extreme greed. People are starting to, starting to buy like crazy they're thinking the market is going to go to new all-time highs and push and push and push endlessly and this is when you have to become very very cautious now could the market end up pushing up more i mentioned the possibility of the market getting a slight retracement that is still a possibility not a guarantee because we have to wait and see what happens to spy but i just want to mention that if the market were to retrace a little bit it could always push up more towards the very end of the year the end of the year is still quite a while away but I just want to note to everyone, I'm going to be honest with you all, okay? Let's say the market kind of like pulls back a tiny bit for the next few days, just hypothetically. Then we start to rally again to end December. Let's just say that happens. If that happens, the market keeps going and going and going. Spy reaches 480, QQQ breaks 410, right? The market keeps pushing and pushing and pushing. If we're at extreme greed and that keeps happening, that's when I'm going to officially become concerned. And that's when I'm going to start leaning in favor of the bears going into January. Because once everyone becomes extremely greedy, that's when the market tends to turn. And that's why you need to be very, very careful. I'll be breaking down more information about this later on. I just want to note that this does not mean the market has to turn immediately. The market could still push more in the future. Okay? We could still be bullish to end the, the year. Even if we get a small little pullback for the next few days, the market could still end the year very strong. But these indicators still tell me that you need to be very cautious and there could be a pullback coming a bigger one in january if not by february <laughs> excuse me sorry guys so just be very careful with this this is the first time we saw the fear and greed index officially reach extreme greed so just be very careful now tesla has confirmed that it's going to be developing wireless inductive ev charging that's some big news for them we already knew about this though i wasn't really surprised when tesla's finally uh, confirmed it this is going to be very very big and this ended up starting during like the uh, events that they had in march during the shareholder event so this coming out this could be very big for tesla this could become a lot more popular and this will help them once again uh, end up getting a lot more buyers out there a lot of uh, exposure and etc. So this is good for Tesla. I'm very excited to see how this is going to continue. But once again, with this technology coming out, it's going to be very cool with inductive charging. And I hope that Tesla continues to grow and they get more products and revenue thanks to all of this. But now let's break down the chart. What's going on with Tesla? What am I basically looking out for? It's very simple, guys. Tesla pushed to resistance, okay? Resistance was close to 260. We rejected our at our first attempt. Now we're at support. 252 is our support. I'm going to call out to like this level here. So this is our support. But then if we lose this, we have this yellow trend line. You guys see the yellow line here? This is going to be our next support. If we end up losing the yellow trend line of support, this 250 area, then we could turn a little bit more bearish and start to break down. But I'm not going to count on it yet. Let's just see how it reacts to this yellow trend line. That is going to be major support very close to that 250 range. This is going to be key for Tesla. If we lose this, right currently if tesla were to drop to it, it's going to be around 250.7 around that area if we lose this i could turn a bit more bearish if we hold it there's going to be attempt an attempt by tesla to try to bounce back up so watch the support very carefully let's see if tesla holds this or not this is going to be pivotal for tesla going into tomorrow and beyond this is a very important support and what about spy how is spy looking spy is looking very interesting so in my previous videos i called out 
that SPY is going to rally. It's going to push up when we open. Expect a nice push up towards 472 or so. And I told you we might reject near 472. We could go a little higher, but watch and see if we reject. And then I said, if I want to turn bullish on SPY, we have to break 474. Have we broken 474 yet? The answer is not yet. We haven't broken that resistance. So we haven't officially turned extremely bullish yet. We are a little bullish trying to push up, but we're not like going to break out to like 476, 478 or anything like that quite yet. So now what I told you guys was more probable was SPY would push up and push and push. Then we might get a rejection back down. Looking at SPY, this thing's pushed very nicely to about 473, but then looking at the technicals, we got this big rejection and signals of a pivot right over here, looking at this wick, and also this rejection signal. We're going to be watching our 5 minute 50 EMA. If we lose this, this thing can start sinking because on the 5 minute time from the 50 EMA has been support all day. If we lose that, it's going to start sinking more. So just be a little bit careful, guys. There's a lot of trickery in this market. Tesla's also sinking as, res as a result of SPY sinking. So watch that 472 support. If we lose this, we could be coming all the way back down to 470. There could be a rejection like this. Watch it very carefully. So far, SPY is starting to reject. On the QQQ, this is also starting to look kind of weak. Uh, I told you all that the QQQ could push up towards 408 or so, 406 to 408. We came just under 408. I think we actually touched 408. Now we're starting to reject. Watch the yellow trend line. Do we end up losing the yellow trend line of support? If we lose it, this thing can start to retrace back down towards 405 and then 404 and 402 and those lower levels. If we hold it, there's going to be an attempt to get back up to like 410. Once again, guys, watch this carefully. We could see the QQQ reject here. Be very careful. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but just know it depends on the yellow trend line, just like how Tesla had its support. QQQ has it too. We'll see if that holds. One thing that's helping the QQQ hold up and outperform SPY would be NVIDIA and also Apple. NVIDIA actually surprised me. I thought NVIDIA would push up to about 495 to 500. I technically called this thing pushing up. I wasn't sure if this thing would hold. I thought it might reject around here. Instead, it got very close to 504. If it you know, continues to break out, we have 508. Whoops, 508. Then we have like 5. 12 coming next on video if we try to keep breaking out but so far it's starting to reject off 504 so we'll see if that fails if we get a big rejection from here if so watch for 500 and a retest to 498 and then 495 nvidia in my opinion is showing life it's holding above 500 but we'll see if this could hold throughout the end of the day and also for tomorrow so just be very careful sometimes nvidia does pivot around this zone we're at resistance right now and we'll see how nvidia does but right now, NVIDIA is showing lots of relative strength compared to the market. We'll see if this thing could hold. As of right now, it's not looking like it's reversing strongly. It does not look like it's tanking yet. We're just going to have to wait and see for the time being. Uh, with that being said, that's pretty much everything except for Apple. As far as Apple goes, I just want to mention that we had this channel. Right? I called out this channel earlier. I said that Apple could uh, retest 195 very soon. I was thinking that it might pop and then drop down to 195. Instead, this thing just went straight down to like 194.4 and then bounced. So kind of like the opposite, but it did technically come down to our targets in this 195 area. So we called that correctly on Apple. I called that last week. 195 is coming and we got to that move. Now we're in this channel. We're going to be watching to see if Apple maintains this channel. If we maintain the channel, watch for a move like this. Watch it just continue to kind of like shuffle down within this range back down towards this imbalance of 194. And if you want to be bullish, if you want to see a bullish break to the upside on Apple, you need to see this thing essentially come down like this and then break out. You want to break this resistance. See the white resistance up top. You want to break above this and start pushing back up to 197 plus. If that breaks, you're going to look for a big reversal from there. So we need to see what's known as a change in market structure. That's a very simple term. Market structure needs to change in order for this to turn bullish. So far, we haven't seen that. There's no confirmation of Apple bouncing yet, breaking out yet. So we have to wait and see. As of right now, we're still in this channel. So assume we're going to stay in there for quite some time. And until then, uh, we'll be watching this going into tomorrow. But the most important thing I just wanted to call out would be like maybe Spy, Tesla, and QQQ, those three specifically. Tesla is looking a little bit weak, but we have this yellow trend line of support watch support will tesla hold support going into tomorrow or, or are we going to fail we'll be watching for that and with that being said guys thank you all so much for listening hopefully this video was helpful have a great day and peace out